on, you gonna be on YouTube, everybody gonna see this, man. Show them how it's done. If there are two things I love in life, it's food and sports. I'm Wes Bryan, a born and bred North Carolina kid, and I'm going to take you on a journey to some of the best spots in Charlotte to get your grub on with some of the best and brightest athletes and personalities. Back in the day, I had plenty of game, and now I'm here to show you that Wes got range. Once again, you are immersed in Wes got range. I'm the host. Wes Bryant, of course, and we're in front of Picasso Sports Cafe, one of the most popular spots in the university area. The wings here are big and juicy. You got cheesy, delicious pizza, calzones, sandwiches, they got it all. And my man from Fox Sports NASCAR Race Hub, Adam Alexander, will be stopping by a TV OG. It's prime time here on West Guy Range. Let's go in here and see what's shape. All right, now we're back here in the kitchen at Picasso's where they're going to show us how they make one of their famous pizzas. This one's called the Masterpiece, not Master P. Make them say, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're going to show my man back here, Miguel. He's going to show us how it's done, prepping that dough. Right now, I can't wait. This is going to be so good. There you go, baby. Flip that dough. Flip that dough. I do that, too, in my kitchen all the time. I, I flip the dough like this. All right, we got a little marinara going on right here. All right, we got a little pepperoni. All right, looks like we got a little Canadian bacon. What's that, little ground beef we got? We got mushrooms going on. Black olives. Banana peppers. Now, that should be an interesting topic. I'm not a uh, guy that's had a lot of banana peppers on my pizza, so this should add some interesting flavor to it. Pizza's going in the oven. Now, about how long do these take to cook? Uh, like uh, eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes. Well, here is the finished product, the masterpiece. Like I said, not the masterpiece. Make them say on no limit. But as promised, my man, the TV OG from NASCAR's <laughs> Race of Fox Sports, Adam Alexander, right here. How's it going? Doing great, Wes. Thanks my for having man. me. You know I'm always up for lunch. Oh, listen, we got all this delicious food. Don't eat it all, Adam. Okay? <laughs> I'll try listen. not. Okay, leave some for us. We got some honey chipotle wings here. We got a panther burger after the Carolina Panthers, of course. Got a little blue cheese, all types of toppings on there. Pizza rolls, not Tostinos, the ones out of the freezer. We got Picasso salad, all types of stuff in here. You got chicken, tomatoes, cucumbers. What do you not have here? Will, are you stuck in there somewhere? Mm -hmm. You might be in there. The camera might be in there something. But as promised, my man Adam Alexander, let's get right into it. Man. What brought you into this business? Now you've been doing it for how long? You know, I actually started when I was 16 years old, so I'm I'm closing on 30 years. I'm about wow. 42, and and it, it was great for me because I knew when I was a kid, right. I wanted to be in sports broadcasting. Okay, and it was one of those things where I started figuring out the older I got. The opportunities to be an athlete at a <laughs> yeah. high level aren't yeah, yeah, going to yeah. be there. Yeah. I didn't have those D1 scholarships yeah. waiting like Big West right. did. I did play uh, against you in flag football. That's the, right. The man-to-man yeah. -man skills are, you know, <laughs> they might be there. They might have some for a cornerback. Yeah. All so right. anyway, so I jumped in in high school. We had a radio and TV program at my high school in Indianapolis. And so I got started young. It was great. Okay. Now, what's your approach when you go? We know you do a little bit of play-by-play you know, -play on races as well, as well as being a host of a show. What's your approach when you go out there? What are you hoping to convey to that audience when they spend 30 minutes to an hour to three hours with you? Well, I think the one thing you always want to do is do all your homework. So you, you've got good knowledge of the subject. I mean, yeah. that is so important because you never, ever want to be stumped about right. something that's happening, whether it be related to the event or, or yeah. one of those participating. Yeah. I think the other thing is keeping it conversational. I mean, right. just, just make it like we're sitting in the living room with each other talking about the, right the event. Here. So yeah. it, that, that's always been my approach. Keep it conversational and, and leave no stones unturned when it comes to doing your homework and preparation. Right. Now, I got to know. Man. You've done tons and tons of stuff. What is the most embarrassing moment that you had on the race, on the show, radio, whatever it may be? Oh, I've had plenty. Uh, the one that stands out okay. um, would have to be, I was doing the first time I ever done a truck race for what was then the Speed Cable Network, now Fox Sports 1. Okay. I come out of the gates, my first hit. I'm yeah. ready to go. Yeah. I'm telling the story. Right. Totally misidentified the guy I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah, the story. Yeah, yeah. And so I throw it back to the host 
And he's like, well, I think what Adam meant to say there was, and I'm like, did I, did I screw that up? And I went the whole event nervous about, they're going to kill me. I got no chance. But anyway, it all, they forgave me. It all worked out. But uh, that was that was pretty embarrassing. Right. Now, we know, like I said, you do the NASCAR. You got it all covered. Let's talk a little bit about that. The four okay. wheels. Okay. We're yep. all over the place here on Westcott Ranks. Now, who do you think? It's going to take home the championship this year because each week it seems to be a guy. This season it seems like a different guy is getting hot. Well, you had Kyle Busch mm -hmm. taking over. Now Joey Logano is on the high street. Who do you think will win? And then what are the ingredients? This is a the food show as well. What are the ingredients to a great drive? A lot of people would like to know that as well. Well, the, the one guy, and he's a perfect guy to talk about, is, is a favorite and a guy to talk about that embodies those great in ingredients that you're talking about is Kevin Harvick. Okay. I, you know, he won the championship last year. Yeah. And, and if I were going to make a favorite, I, I would make Harvick the favorite. And the reason is you talk about different guys getting on hot streaks. Okay. The one common thread, yeah. Harvick's there every week. He, he may is. not be winning. But he, he's finished second ten times. I right. mean, he is always in the hunt. So he, I would make him my favorite for the championship. Um, and, and I think the reason is, and the reason he's been so good, Har Harvick understands every aspect of it. Right. Sure, he's, he's good okay. at being in the race car and, and managing the race. But mentally, that guy not only knows how to get himself ready, right. but he knows how to work on others in the media. He, he plays the game so well. So I, I think well-rounded, uh, total focus, Kevin Harvick would be the guy. Okay. Now, getting to the food. Now, you're a Midwest guy, Indiana. What are some of the staples that you ate growing up? What are some of your favorite things? Because, you know, I know you live in the South now. I know things are a little bit different up that way. So what are some of the things you grew up on, things that you really enjoy? Well, I, I was pretty simple. I mean, I don't think as a kid, you know, I got to branch out much. We didn't right. eat out a lot. Yeah. You know, I grew up in a small town when I was young. Yeah. So I was kind of a, a burger and fries guy okay. or, or a pizza guy. I, mean, it was, I was all about keep it simple yeah. when I was young. Well, we got you covered. Oh, yeah. That right there with all the things that we have now what are some of the places like do you cook does your wife cook what, what do you guys like to eat at the Alexander house also are there any like restaurants in particular that you like to go to well you know that the kids they always dictate tempo on, yeah. on what we're eating where yeah. we're going yeah. uh, but if it were up to me you know a couple of places that I've really grown to enjoy is you know uh, I've spent some time at Roos Chris, which okay. if you want a steak, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Bonefish Grill, okay. I, I like what they have to offer. But you know what? If if I had one go-to meal, yeah. it would probably be Italian. Okay. I, I just I love Italian food. Yeah. Love all that bread that comes with it. Yeah. And, and as a family, we and we enjoy Italian food. But you know this time of year, shoot, we throw something on the grill. I mean, yeah. we're we're pretty flexible. Well, you know what? If it was up to me and my son, my three-year-old, right, we would eat at Golden Corral every time we go. He, he loves the Kids love cheese, that place. The baked beans, all types of stuff. Yeah. We're gonna try some of this delicious food that we got. We'll see y'all back in just a bit. What about that burger, Wes? Now, <laughs> disturb a man when he's eating. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I know this. You put blue cheese on anything, and it this takes blue it right cheese to the next flavor level. Pops out of this burger. I never had a burger with blue cheese on it. Before. Yeah, really oh, good. These pizza rolls. I bet Tostino's don't have nothing on this. Eat my kings. Wes serves it up. Well, we'll get you in a minute, man. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna gain five pounds by the time we mm -hmm. leave here. All right, Adam, we had a lot of good food here. You see the destruction, the <laughs> carnage. We won. We won. <laughs> We're undefeated. We did. What did you like out of here? What was some of your favorite stuff? Well, I got to tell you, unlike my uh, baseball career, oh, okay. I was batting 1,000 today. <laughs> I, I thought the pizza was good. Yeah. I thought the wings were delicious. The yeah. burger was unbelievable. I mean, everything, everything just absolutely uh, hit the spot. But I have to say, banana peppers on pizza, Unique. But they added that spice, that really flavor. Really good. Yeah. I love the piece of the masterpiece. Definitely made me say, oh, my honey chipotle wings, always my favorite yeah. when good I come Good choice. Back. Good choice on the wings. <laughs> the pizza rolls, everything was fantastic. Come in here if you really want to eat good, watch a little ball. This place is fantastic. Woo! Another good day of eating down. Hey. Does Prime's Jerry Carroll look just a little bit wetter after I ate all that food? Hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode of West Guy Range. You can catch us on Twitter at West Bryant Live, the YouTube channel, West Bryant Live as well, and also the new Facebook page, West Guy Range on Facebook. So check us out. Another great day. If you want to come, 
watch a game and eat some good food. Come out here to Picasso's. And hey, until next time, eat it up.